Hey guys, Mars Lincoln here, bringing you another Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle video, and so today we are going to do the last of the GT Goku event missions that has been added for the anniversary. I thought for this one we would uh, somewhat go all out, because this is the Fused Fighters stage. So of course, both of the events have a mission that they added in for you to use the new actual anniversary LRs team. So the Goku event got Fused Fighters, and the Vegeta event, which will be an upcoming video, got power beyond Super Saiyan. So, obviously, with some of the other videos, we've just made, like, fun team builds, um, not really going, you know, too crazy, using items, using support memories, stuff like that. But for this particular stage, obviously, you know, we are going to be able to just go full-on overkill with the LR Super Saiyan 4. So, I thought it'd be interesting to bring... I brought pretty much all of the heroes, uh, Super Saiyan 3 fusions on the team because I thought that would be uh, fun to get some use out of these guys because obviously units like the um, Gotenks, uh, the AGL Gotenks on the previous rotation, they are on the 200% leader skill uh, for the LR Super Saiyan 4s because obviously they are on the Kamehameha category. So it'll be interesting to see uh, how well they are going to perform. Because, you know, the GT Goku event, older than the Vegeta event, not very difficult. Like, the only thing that even really is a problem anymore is if you get physical units, get super attacked by the Golden Ozaru phase. But other than that, we shouldn't really have too much trouble along the way. So I thought it'd be kind of fun to bring the heroes fusions uh, always have heroes on my mind. Looking forward to the celebration in November when we supposedly will be getting Limit Breaker Super Saiyan 4 for Geo, which of course is going to be another buff to like the Fused Fighters setup. The Super Saiyan 4 Gohan and Bardock will be getting their Awakenings. Xeno, Super Saiyan 3, Goku and Vegeta will be getting their Easy A's. And I already did a video about Xeno, Super Saiyan 3, Goku on a 200% team. I feel like he could quite easily be the best Easy A TUR. Uh, once they, uh, as long as they don't ruin his easy A, because when Tech Gotenks came out, people were unironically calling him one of the best easy A T U R S, which he probably was, to be fair. Um, we got Weirus here, so we can get all these orbs for him, so he can get the buff to support everybody else. I mean, these two obviously designed to go together. They share almost the exact same link set. They get guaranteed additional super when there's another heroes unit on the rotation. They need to super attack, I believe it's four times in order to build up their passive fully. Um, so it will be interesting to see what they look like as we get a little bit further in. But bear in mind, of course, these guys awakened last year. They didn't get easy A's yet. And they're still like here this turn. This Gotenks has put out over 10 million worth of attack stats by getting all of these additionals. So uh, these units still pretty good. When it comes to Super Battle Road as well, the Gotenks lowers attack and the Gohanks seals, which is pretty useful. So I do really like those guys. Um, the only problem we have is on this rotation. Uh, we need to get the... Should I just do this? Yeah, let's just do this. We need to get the Int Gotenks uh, on rotation and fused. Yeah, because we're not going to super attack with you. Hopefully we get an additional... Um, and then we'll do this for you. Once the Int go tanks, uh, we can go up to Super Saiyan 3. And then we'll keep these guys on rotation together because they do share quite a few extra links. Um, the Tech go tanks kind of ended up being the odd one out for the Heroes units because he actually got Fierce Battle, which is good. But then because he's a go tanks, he has links like Budding Warrior, which not a lot of other units have. So there are some other Super Saiyan 3 units that he links up super well with. But when it comes to the fusion ones, I mean, we could have run physical Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks with his Easy A, but he's quite outdated now. He probably would have been fine in this event, but neither of those units are particularly good for slot one. Tech Gotenks can be when he's built up, I guess. Um, but yeah, we just I just decided to bring him like this. And once we get the Int Gotenks up to Super Saiyan 3, they can be on rotation together. Now that uh, the Tech one's gotten a few super attacks off, his defense should be good enough for him to go into slot one. So we need to float this guy off. And then by the time he comes back onto rotation with the um, Tech Gotenks, we should be ready to go Super Saiyan 3 at that point. So I need to let the Gohanks go first because he hasn't super attacked as many times. Although his defense is higher uh, overall on this phase. But yeah, they share every link except Brainiacs and Cold Judgment. Um, and then what link are you getting from you? The Innocence. So yeah, it is better for you to be there as well. 
All right, so we'll do this. We'll do this. Obviously, if we eat a super on Gohanks, that would be unfortunate. But we probably would live. Because he's going to get, remember, at least two super attacks here. So his defense is going to be going up a pretty reasonable amount. We need to get crits, though, if we really want him to do damage. But yeah, this mission, obviously, uh, and the Beyond Super Saiyan 1 for the Vegeta event, by far the easiest ones if you pulled the anniversary LRs because you just run their team. I mean, you could stack this team with like Tech EZA Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta, the Tech LR Gogeta. Like, there's a lot of units we could just bring on this team to uh, make this run very, very easy. So, I'm going to go ahead and put you in slot one. Um, what's your defense at the start of the turn here? 274k. I guess we could fuse with Gogeta, why not? We don't really need to delay fusing with him, because it's not like this event is going to cause him any issues. I still never get tired of watching this. <laughs> Alright, so, I probably should turn the active skills off because we don't want to keep seeing the same ones. Although, actually, let me do this, because then I can get the Weirus. Yep, we can get all those orbs for you. Give everybody all the extra support. So look at that. Gotenks are at 5.5. He's only got three links active. So really, really good. Then he jumps up to 6.1. We get another one as well. Look at this, 6.5. So uh, Gotenks just casually putting out almost 20 million worth of attack stat by himself. Uh, after a triple super, he takes double digit damage. <laughs> so yeah, that's Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks. Man, when Super Saiyan 3 Zeno Goku gets his EZA in November, the rotation of those two together is actually going to be insane. And if you have a unit in slot 3 that can give Gotenks fierce battle, then obviously going to be even better. Because uh, after his EZA, Goku's going to be just a slot 1 like defensive wall. So... Look at that, Weirus actually going to come in clutch and get the finish. <laughs> Even if he doesn't crit here off that tiny sliver of health. Let's go, take out the Azaru. So yeah, I mean, as I said, we never expected this mission to be particularly difficult. So uh, I guess we should go ahead and fuse you. Let's turn these off real quick. Get you fused. And then who has the most defense out of these two? Uh, it is actually Gotenks. So we'll put... Yeah, go tanks in slot one. 298k. So put you in slot one. Let's grab this for you. And then we can grab all of these for you. Should be a pretty, uh, yeah, full 24 key for the friend. I think the friend is rainbow. But I always intended to float them off just because, you know, they would overpower this event quite significantly anyway. But I think the friend is rainbow. Still take 100 and, was it, 135-ish on go tanks here. Pre-super. Um... He is getting the 200% leader skill. That's why his stats are usually a little bit higher than Gotenks if they've gotten the same number of supers anyway. But because of all these additionals they can get, and we've had phases ending when, like, Gotenks super attack three times and Gohenks only got to super attack once, um, they're not going to be evenly built up at this point. But they're still able to put out some reasonably good numbers here. Getting uh, a crit is always nice as well. And uh, I think this is setting the stage for... Uh, in Goji, a uh, physical LR Goji are in the final spot to uh, potentially just pop off here and uh, get the kill. 5.5. Obviously, he doesn't share a ton of links with these guys because he doesn't have Fused Fighter. So, he has, what, Super Saiyan active at the moment? Um, that might even be it because Gohanks doesn't have Kamehameha. He obviously doesn't have Legendary Power. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, it might literally only have one link active here. But still did a pretty good amount of damage to our boy. So now we can go ahead and uh, we still can't fuse Gotenks apparently. Um, you have 468k defense so that's fine. We can just put you in slot 1. Uh, oh I see. It was a HP requirement. Okay well let's go ahead and uh, actually get you fused before we lose the opportunity. So if we drop below the threshold again then obviously we're not going to get to do it. Um, and then this is going to allow this rotation of Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks, uh, well, the two Super Saiyan 3 Gotenkses, to go ham against full power Super Saiyan 4 Goku. Because in Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks, absolutely runs wild on him. And now we have five links active. So what does that leave us with in terms of, yeah, 468k on the defense. 
Let's see what we do attack stat wise here. Double digit damage, good. 6.1 for the first super. No support. Sadly, we did not get the additional though. Um, I imagine he would probably take a lot of damage from a super. But fortunately, we're not going to find out. 4.4 from Int no tanks. Obviously, he's starting to show his age a little bit now. But he can get multiple additional supers as well if we get the good RNG. No. Okay. Well, what a surprise. It looks like it's up to uh, LR Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta to get the job done again. But you love to see it. That, like, his 12 key super is so cool. I love that. Uh, the, like, clone Kamehameha thing. It's super awesome. Alright, so, perfect opportunity now to just put the Gohanks in slot 1. Um, we've got a lot of orbs for Weirus ready, so that's good. Let's do this, do this, and then grab all of these for Weirus, which should give us a pretty solid heal as well. We're going to get the Dokkan attack next turn, which I'm probably going to give to my boy Tech Super Saiyan 3 Gohanks. Go tanks, keep pushing that hero's agenda. I need to stop getting confused between saying like Gotenks, Gohanks, there's Xeno Gotenks, because the AGL one is Xeno Gotenks, whereas the tech one is just Gotenks. Like, is it adult or teen? But, was that the in Int one? Yeah. 9,000 damage. All right, yeah, we we'll take that. Um, I'm okay with that. 4.63 from Gotenks. Not bad showing for him, considering, like I say, this is him under the 200% lead. So... Pretty decent attack stats. His defense is not too crazy. Um, I don't know if this. I don't think this rotation would hold up super well in the red zone. Um, but hey, pretty decent showing from this uh, Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks. And then our boy Weirus. Unfortunately, can't dodge in this phase. But his defense after supering is pretty good. So yeah, double digit damage. Perfect. All right, so let's go ahead and do this. Do you get any extra links from you? You don't, do you? You do get Kamehameha. Yeah, maybe we should do this then, just so I want to see uh, Gotenks really going off. So we'll do this, and then you can do this. So potentially this is going to be the end here, because Super Saiyan 3 int Gotenks in slot 1, getting the Dokkan attack should do a lot of damage. Hopefully we get a bit luckier this turn with the RNG for his additionals, and then uh, we should be all good. So like I was starting to say, obviously you could stack this team with the most powerful fused fighter characters. I mean, the LR gods are on fused fighters, so you can literally use both on each other's teams. Because for the Vegeta event, of course, the LR Super Saiyan 4s are on power beyond uh, Super Saiyan. So you could just make a very, very stacked team. You could probably speed run this mission and just beat the Goku event in like easily, easily under like 10 minutes. If you really wanted to use like attack up items and stuff like that, you could do it even faster. Um, but I thought it'd just be a bit more fun to bring some of the other units that we don't get to use that often. I used to really, really like this in Gotenks, but we haven't got a huge amount of opportunities to use him recently. And he left Goku just alive enough so we can get, look at that, 6.5 out of tech Gotenks. And finish off Goku here. So there you go. That was the final mission for the GT Legendary Goku event from the anniversary. Very, very easy one. Let me know what team you guys use down below in the comment section. So that is going to be it for the video, guys. This has been the Mars Ningen. Smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you are new. Check out the links down below for the Discord and the merch store. And I will see you all again soon. Have a good one.